Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome again to Eric Broaddus YouTube. Welcome again to my YouTube channel, Eric Broaddus YouTube. And the topic that I want to talk about today is the cost of a military career. Again, the topic is the cost of a military career. And what is it that, um, brought me to this train of thought or to want to discuss this topic. Well, um, there are sometimes um, individuals that are civilians that um, have some that have never served in the military or the armed forces. You know, sometimes they may not understand, um, you know, what the military is about, you know, what we do and maybe the nature of the business. and you know the actual cost you know there are some that have this perception that servicemen and women are given are given things versus earning them and so in this video hopefully this may you know shed some light but it's also to shed light for those um, that are in and also for those that are considering joining the military and nothing is free and for everything, there is a cost and some sacrifice. But anyway, you know, um, you know, I've had conversations with some people that have never been in the military, and they don't really know exactly a lot of it. And so they'll they may make comments like, um, "Well, you um, you didn't necessarily um, take care of yourself. You were in the military for this amount of time, and the military they gave you, they they took they they took care of you." You know, basically, they they provided you know um, shelter, you know um, clothes and and food. You know now, um, granted that to some extent, you know that may be true. You know, if we're living in um, dormitories or whatever, but to everything, there's a a dollar cost average. There's always a cost for everything. Nothing. Um, is free for every meal that a serviceman and servicewoman you know eats there's a dollar cost to that um, for the uniforms you know um, the facilities and even for the different pays and allowances that servicemen and women do receive and then once they become veterans if they have um, VA benefits all of it costs something you know nothing is free and Congress does this through a what's known as a fiscal budget. But for my point that I'm trying to make on this topic is that um, I want to set the record straight for those civilians who have never served in the military and don't really know a lot. Um, number one, military members, servicemen and women aren't given anything. They earn it. You know, the fiscal budget that um, Congress um, basically um, you know, sets aside, you know, for the, which is a lot for the military spending, um, you know, obviously it does come off of tax dollars, but um, what needs to be um, reminded is that military um, members, they pay taxes too. So it is just as much um, their money going into the pot that is coming out. And for civilians that that have never served, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the ones that do respect military and you know and may have a better understanding, but um, military men and women they make sacrifices so that um, civilians and others as well can have their way of life as we know it. And without their service to um, serve their country honorably and being with, with patriotism then the United States would not be able to secure its lifestyle. And so these men and women, um, each and every day, um, they put their lives on the line and they do make sacrifices. Now, let's, um, let's delve into it. You know, um, yeah, you have the, the cost for um, food and, and shelter, you know, um, let's see, food, shelter, clothing, but what organization do you know of that can um, run without um, having a budget? Amazon has a budget. They have to pour 
um, spend so much money on its employees in order for the organization to function. You know, you have logistical functions. You know, you're going to have maybe certain things with technology. You know, you're going to have to have worker bees to, that have to get the job done, which in the military, that would be the tactical end. If it's going to be your manager or your managerial class, that would be your officers from the strategic end. And so, you know, all of these things, you know, have a dollar cost amount attached to it, you know, for the training and the schooling that um, members in the armed forces um, receive, in which it is the best trained military in the world. You know, there's a dollar cost average, and um, those servicemen and women, they are worth every penny um, that they get as well as their respect because of what they give up. And for those of you that um, may con be considering having a career in the military, well, let's delve into the cost. And for those of you that are already in, hey, you know what you swore in and what you signed up for. But um, some of the cost of having a military career is going to be sometimes there's going to be an infringement on um, your freedoms. You know? Sometimes you're going to have to um, share your space um, with others. You must have the discipline and be able to follow orders. Whereas on the civilian side, if you don't like what your boss is telling you, or you don't like your work environment, you can always quit. You know, on the civilian side, you may have unions. In the military, there is no unions. So once you swear in under oath and you sign your name on the dotted line, <laughs> Um, technically, you belong to Uncle Sam, and so you have to know exactly what you're signing up for, you know, before you get into it. Um, that's just the rules of the game, you know. If you're going to be able to benefit from the military, then you have to pay your dues, and that's just the cost of doing business. Um, what else are some of the, the cost um, of military career? Let's talk about um, let's talk about deployments. You know, sometimes um, your branch of service or uh, well, the military may require you to go on lengthy deployments, and sometimes several times a year, or you may have to take assignments that you necessarily um, don't want to take. You know, you have to serve in certain um, maybe remote locations or places and under conditions that you don't want to serve in that a civilian um, would never necessarily encounter. You know, and sometimes the conditions, you know, they can, you know, um, you know, be harsh. You know, you have to have um, discipline and resolve and putting up with personalities, you know, that you are stuck with. <laughs> Which once you swear on the side, I got it line, you know, there is no quit and you are expected to. Um, serve your enlistment, you know, and um, hopefully under honorable conditions to get an honorable discharge. What else is the cost of a military career? Sometimes you have to wear many different hats, whereas on the civilian side, your job description may require you to do certain things, and that is all you have to do. In the military, you may have to um, do many different things and um, one one of the things I learned is that um, as a as a leader or a supervisor I had to wear many different hats whereas a civilian boss wouldn't you know so you know I got I have to watch had to watch out if I had younger troops watching with their finances keeping up with um, their physical fitness tests you know as well as keeping up with, with my own making sure they squared away on their off-duty conduct and there's a host of a bunch of um, other hats that in the military um, we have to wear sometimes that where civilians don't. You know, in the military, the cost, you are on duty technically 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Even when you technically are off duty, when you go home, you still are on duty while you are in um, that branch of service. And it does require... Um, some discipline, you know, how do you represent your branch of service? Because you may be the only um, representation of the military that 
um, a civilian person sees. So first impressions are lasting ones. Another cost of a military career is being held to a higher standard. You know, we just can't get away with what the average civilian does, you know. Um, there's less room or margin for error in how we conduct ourselves and how we behave. We are, you are expected to be a professional at all times. Another cost is um, there's a zero tolerance, zero tolerance policy for drugs. And I did a video on that last week on the military and, um, you know, drug testing. You know, so if you're going to have a career in the military and be successful, you know, drugs has to go because they, they don't play. You know? Um, what else? Like I said, also definitely discipline and being able to take orders and work with people that um, are different from you and that you may not necessarily vibe with or even like. But you learn to work with them and you learn to set aside your personal biases or differences in order to get the mission accomplished and get the job done. See, you know, the military is not a cakewalk. And, you know, I would say for um, those that make comments about uh, military members getting stuff for free, number one, servicemen and service um, women, they don't get anything for free. They earn everything they get. In my opinion, they should get a little bit more for what they sacrifice. What, what can... Um, the military costs you. Well, let's think about it. We've already said your freedom. You know, it's definitely gonna gonna cost you your time while you're in that uniform. It's gonna cost you on deployments. Sometimes you have to be away from your family or your friends. You know, while your friends and uh, buddies may be kicking it, you may have to pull some long, long hour shifts. And there's no overtime in the military. You know. And if you really want to get to the gritty, um, think about in combat. You know, is it free when servicemen and women are putting their lives on the line? Um, in some cases, it can cost you limbs or may even cost you your life. And for the civilians that have something to say that, um, that military men and women are given, you know what I'm saying? Well, um, look, what they, look what they give in exchange. There's no price that you can put on a human life. And if those men and women did not make these sacrifices, um, you could not have the freedoms and the life that you have as you know it. You know, if you think it's, it's bad in this pandemic, you know, you ain't seen nothing. Military members sometimes have to serve in, in harsh conditions and... Um, we have to have to have to man up. We have to suck it up, you know what I'm saying, and not cry about it because that's what comes with the territory. You know, but yes, the cost of a military career. Now, granted, um, if you pay the cost, you pay your dues. On the other end, there are benefits, and that's why, um, for those of you that may not understand, well, you know, why do military members get all this and that because of what they have to sacrifice and give up? That's why. They get that. And on top of that, um, the money is not free. We work for it just like civilians do. It's just the way our pay happens to be set up differently. We have to have a different structure than uh, on the civilian side. You know, and that includes non taxable pay, maybe, um, you know, certain allowances or certain bonuses. You know, that's part of the perks of being a um, member in the military. And if... Um, if it were that easy to serve in the armed forces, believe you me, everybody would do it. But the military has something known as a qualifier and what is called standards. And so they only want, you know, um, the best healthy bodies, you know what I'm saying, healthy, uh, a healthy mind. So everybody just can't, can't join um, the military. You have to be able to qualify. And then after you, maybe you make it through basic, you know, then, or if you were make it through MEPS, then you got to make it through basic. You make it through basic, then you got to make it through tech school or AIT. Then from AIT, you still got to deal with a weeding out process of qualifying, you know, to see if you can cut it um, in the real military, you know, at your job. You know, so, you know, um, hats off 
you know what I'm saying, to my brothers and sisters in the military, for those that have served before me, those that served with me, and those that are serving now after me, you know, I salute you, you know, and I thank you for your service for the sacrifice that you make. But I just wanted to make this video, you know, to shed some light. And this is not a video. I'm not going in on anybody like that. But I just wanted to shed some light for um, those um, on the civilian side that really don't know a lot about what the military really does and the sacrifices that those men and women make in order to um, hold up our Constitution and preserve life and liberty as we know it in the United States. You know, but... That's all I have for this video. Again, the name is The Cost of a Military Career. The Cost of a Military Career. And um, for those that are considering it, you know, um, I definitely say, hey, go for it. You know, if you, you know, serve honorably, there's some perks and benefits on the other side. You know, for those of you that are in, you know, I say to you, you know, hey, keep on keeping on and just hang in there. You know, finish um, your enlistment honorably and on the other side, when you finish, you know, you, you'll reap the benefits and the rewards. But that's all I have for this video. And I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. And thanks for listening. And the name of my YouTube channel is Eric Broadus YouTube. That's E-R-I-C-B-R-O-A-D-U-S YouTube or EricBroadusYouTube.com. So please, um... Um, smash that bell to subscribe, you know, um, smash the like button, leave comments. If you don't like the video, hey, hit the unlike button also and still leave comments. Love to dialogue with you. Also, I have a podca podcast on Anchor called Snack Starts. That's S-N-A-K-Z-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S, Snack Starts. And you can find me on um, Anchor, um, Spreaker, Spotify, um, SoundCloud, iTunes, Apple Podcasts and a host of other social media um, platforms. But thanks, guys, for listening. And please, push it out. Share both. Every Brothers YouTube and Snack Store. Share it with your, um, your friends, frenemies, enemies, you know, co-workers, associates, you know, um, rats, cats, dogs, bats, you know, whatever. Share it and push it out. That's all I have on this one, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out.